You just said it. This whole I enjoy talking with people, listening to what their stories are, as I guess I probably enjoy telling my story in return. I think it's very important that people talk to each other. And well, is it getting some to see, this goes along with the, the same thing I just talked about. I would love so much tomorrow morning to have little Joe go down to grandma and grandpa and say, I'm okay now. What can I do to help? I feel so great. I'm going to be working hard at school. I'll do anything you want that's worthwhile. I love you. That's what I would love to see. To a better land I know, I hear their joyful voices calling. I'm, I am going, this is what I'm doing as far as going. I'm going from one day to the next. It's a cliche called one day at a time. And that's where I'm going. And I'm not sure where it is. To not to be able to handle the situation that I, that was in my family couldn't handle it. That's the thing, Jim. I could, and there was no help, but I was, could not handle it. That's all. Period. I don't know how to sing. I'll have a little Christmas around you. Oh, decoration land. Okay. There was a little Texan rode into town and he stopped in this bar and he sat down and he was having a drink. And he looked on top of the bar and he says, what is that big jar of silver dollars you got there? <laughs> okay, there's your joke. Born? Live and gonna die. That wasn't even 10 seconds. I'm not gonna give all the bullshit. A tragedy. Uh, are you getting me back into Vietnam? Uh, holding a man in my arms. You know what I mean. I don't like being. What is it? What am I trying to say? Sunshine blown up my ass, basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't like that at all. I'd rather just have it told like it is and. Hey, farm animals, go to bed. And the farmer, too. See, now you have Winky on tape saying his name. Did you hear that? Now I can prove to people at work that he says it. <laughs> All right.
Alright, I'm ready. Hi. Hey. You gotta go get a drink of water. Kisses? Nice. Get your water. Love you. Love you too. Winky fell off the couch. <laughs> Pretty much wherever, but I have to be in the right mood to be tickled. Go to sleep. Stop that, Aiden. Thank you. Answer the questions for me. Come on. Well, it's not things, it's more about doing what I want to do. And usually, the, the happiest thing can be is hanging out here with my, my wife and my critters, you know? I like coming home, working in the studio in here, and running around the house upstairs. And, whining at me and stuff. skin or their or their hair um, but you can see a lot of things about them like when their muscles get taut or as they're talking to you you know come on up little dog come on come on up come on up um, but at the same time this friend of mine um, was a drag racer and um, and he, he loved opera. And I started to recognize the funny duality that's involved in that. And, and I think there's something in that, you know. I like reading poetry, too. Come on, you little marmot. Come on. Come on up. And, and there's a lot to be seen in that. You know, you can, you can read, um, I don't know, something pretty simple and really subtle and think about it all day. People working, getting paid, doing nothing. They just sit around and do nothing and they don't give 100%. That's my pet peeve. People getting paid for just doing nothing. Well, I, I don't know if this is a personal tragedy, but to see my oldest son the way he is, the way he could be, that's a tragedy to be honest with you. I just told you what. <laughs> Stop it. Go outside. Oh, what would make me nauseous right now? I don't know, getting drunk and obnoxious and probably that would make me nauseous.
probably that that I've got a lot of problems. I have a lot of family problems. I found the truth about people. Oh. People think I'm a wannabe gangster and blah 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 stuff like that. People that are ignorant or hickish or redneck or hillbilly, those type of people talk stuff about me. They don't really think much of me, but they don't even know me. People talking behind my back, and then when I confront them, they say I was talking behind your back. Of how people are quick to judge other people. And that's really offensive. And he's a little punk because he won't say it to anybody's face. But I got in a fight, kicked his butt, and then I went to camp because of that. Thank you. I'm lost because I don't really like this town. That's, that's what I'm, I'm lost all the time. Actually, I don't fit into this town. I just hate this place. Just everybody's everybody's got like, the same last name, and everybody's just dumb. I just I can't get along with anybody. There's like some cool people, but yeah, and all all everybody does here is go to the bar one time. It's like the mall. Just got to be there. Yeah. the strange things happen in big cities, but there's a lot of strange stuff going on in all over the place. We watched it for about a half an hour, and over the CB, we started to hear truck truckers discussing it, what it was, and if other people had seen it. You, whenever you meet someone at a party, you so what do you do? They don't, it's not, it's like, okay, now I understand you. I don't have to th talk to you any longer about whatever. Do you know what I'm talking about? We continued to watch it for almost 45 minutes before it all of a sudden vanished. No idea what it was, where it came from, or where it went. 
It's not complicated. There are very simple rules. And yet, it's, you know, just the little things that, that, that really drive me crazy. You know, the stuff like uh, at least three times, probably, maybe four, and then somehow something caught in the front fender. Got, got caught up and the car went end over end, landed upside down. And uh, I was bouncing around all inside there. Uh, I broke my neck. I was all cut up from, the, from all the broken glass. And as of late, I've, I'm losing some of my arrogance. <laughs> what are you looking at, shithead? That ticks me off to no end. That's annoying, they shouldn't have their mouth open. I take care of people. Go check your clothes. It, uh, it makes me feel good. Otherwise, they're going to go on their ass right out the door. That's what I do. And um, the parking lot is in the back, so I kind of drove us into the parking lot and got out, and she got into the driver's seat, and I went into the library through the back. Um, are the hiccups. Um, and sitting and like watching TV or watching a movie with my mom and we would eat oranges like it was going out of style so and for whatever reason I, there's like a fountain in the library and um, I went in and I sat for a while which is weird and whatever I would go into the kitchen get an orange and I'd spend like a half an hour peeling it so that there was like no white stuff left on the outside. Okay. Sitting there, I got dropped off at like seven. And I sat there. For about two and a half hours. Um, and I would get done. <laughs> and I don't know why, like I never, made, you know, it's like you don't, what had happened was right out in front of the library, you know, Michigan Avenue, which is like four lanes going in another direction. I would always put the orange down for a second and I would like go wash my hands because I was like, it was such a treasured like little thing, right? Inevitably, and my mom was cutting across and this guy in a pickup truck ran the red My mother would grab the orange, rip it in half, and take half of it. And she was gone like instantly, which is probably a good thing. Um, and that is one of my fondest memories.
lost a couple friends, then I'm probably better off without a couple of husbands, which I know I'm better off without. <laughs> without choosing the wrong one, I don't think we know how to find the right one. And if you just don't look, you just don't see it. Not to sound corny, but it, it is in the everyday. If you look for it, you, if you don't look for it, you won't find it. And you're not bitter, because I see so much bitterness. Otherwise, you just could never be happy. bad, not all of it, but I don't think people can walk on me as easily as they could, and I think I've lost some of that, and I really could hit the restart button, because there was no baggage with me and with my name and with who I am, so it was a really great opportunity, I kind of found myself in that shithole, and you start to see that you're not that boy anymore, but you're actually something else just, uh, you know, purity that comes with that, and so that's good, I think. I think there's these moments when you, as, oh my god, I'm a man now, but, or this is going to sound bad, but I love myself the most, because outside of everything, you know, there's a kernel, and, uh, our tone of career doesn't matter. That's always going to be there. So no matter what happens. <sighs> My hope is that I'll continue being that guy. That bright spot in people's head. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh God. <laughs> I can't remember being lost. <laughs> I couldn't even remember. I'm with the generation who that was a no-no. A little piece of this, a little piece of that. I don't really know, I don't. <laughs> Well, I always have a lot of fun with uh, with these people that don't know us well. There are people whose attitudes or ways I won't deal with. People who are not very dominant. <laughs> Try to fear anything. Boy, that's a good question. Going to my point of perfection. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's something about to come a fruit casket. <laughs> Kind of uncomfortable situation going on in my family right now. So there have been it's been ongoing for almost a year and a half now. And it's um you gotta work at it. <laughs> you know, it's not slowly we're finally making some steps to acknowledge the problems. This is cheesy, but I'm kind of quoting a book title, but uh, hope is not a strategy. <laughs> you know, you can't hope and achieve. You've got to work towards achieving. And, um, and what is happening there is um, having honest, difficult discussions with one another, which arguments are taking place, but I think it's a step in the right direction at least. You've got to put a lot of effort into many different things to achieve the satisfaction you're looking for in whatever you're doing. And I think that's true for your personal life, your professional life, you name it. Feelings are being 
put out on the table. I can work through it. So it was actually just yesterday. <laughs> and the outcome is we're going to talk about it again next week. You can't hope to achieve satisfaction. You have to work at it. I've been where I needed to be to become the person I am today. I feel like I'm going anywhere. <laughs> it's kind of coasting. I want to, but I can't. I'm pretty happy with my life otherwise. I feel pretty satisfied most of the time. <laughs> hey. I have found so many things. <laughs> Just one? <laughs> wait, wait, here. Hello. Hey. Hi, Jim. Hey. Hey. The effect of time on materials and life, life itself, the change the energy from seed to plant to tree to whatever. I don't think I've ever experienced real agony, but I mean, everyone, everything went smoothly in my brain surgery, but that probably was pretty close. It could have been. Or the opposite, going from tree to rotted wood back to whatever. Just the change in state of metal or organic matter or whatever. The, I do that because it requires my entire being and uh, I'm most interested in those activities that require my entire being. So related activities are, are teaching, proselytizing or whatever, but I'm always looking at engaging in something with other people with the idea of perhaps learning it or to teach even perhaps only for myself if I'm doing it for others. Sorry. At which point I was about ready to flip my wing. Um, and suddenly I saw in the middle of this nothing but woods, hello? She is uh, with Barbara. There was nothing else. Right in the middle of the woods, there was this arched space. Sure. A green painted uh, hand water pump. So I thought, well, I can't be a wilderness. You know, this is like a symbol. And, uh, mm-hmm. 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 I'm having the most mystical experience of whatsoever, or there must be a road nearby in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I had another one of those kind of panic moments where you said, who am I and what's important to me? I can't be here right now. I can't do the wine and cheese and wonderful conversation evening thing. I can't do the young adults growing up together and uh, understanding one another. You're going, at, you're hurling at such a, a, a pace, but you have no landmarks to see where you're going. Yeah if you're getting anywhere, so you're just there, you're like on the edge of an arrow. And there was a splendor about that because there's nothing there. It's like you're entering ethereal space, it's wet, and each moment is like the next.
second. I don't want to be a chicken, I don't want to be a duck, so I quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 